All right, we are here with actor, writer, producer, philanthropist, fashion icon, <laughs> Harry Styles concert goer. Yes, first Swif and foremost. Swifty. Yes. Sophia Carson, welcome back. <laughs> Wait, that's been my favorite introduction. No <laughs> one's ever included Harry Styles and Taylor Swift. Well, I mean... Best part of... That was my opening question. We're going to get to all the fun stuff okay. happening in your life soon. Are you just like running on fumes right now? Because you had like the biggest <laughs> weekend ever. My friend just texted like, how are you alive? And I'm like, adrenaline. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously, a saint. So let's start out with Saturday. You went to Harry Styles, I saw. I did. Well, I was on radio tour all last uh -huh. week and then uh, went to Harry Styles concert Saturday night, which was, it was kind of a last minute decision. Yeah. I could have rested, but then I thought, I'm in New York City. Harry Styles is playing at Madison Square to. Garden. How could I not? And I went, and it was the best decision, and he's Was just it everything, everything you thought it was going to be? He's everything. I saw him on tour in his last tour in L.A., and I was just so blown away by it. He's just such a freaking rock star. He just has it right now. He's like one of those yeah. that just everybody can universally agree. But he's That's the guy. Yeah. And I, I, you know what I love the most is I've never seen an artist thank their fans so much in a concert hmm. as much as Harry does. Like he takes the time after every couple of songs and will thank the audience right. over and over again. And That's I just awesome. admire that so much. Yeah. Yeah. You go to a show like that. You, you, I, I can only imagine as an artist yourself, you're like taking notes. You're totally. Like, I always okay, I have to start doing yeah, that. Yeah. Or... I learn. I learn so much. And it's also cool. Like the energy in that right. room, like fans are just so happy. I went to his show. He had a show on Long Island a couple months ago. It was the night that his album released. Oh, wow. And it was wild to me that, that the album, knew. the new album. Yeah. And they knew the songs, I'm they assuming. They knew the songs. That's wild. The album had been out at that point for like 12 hours That's or whatever. That's crazy. 18 hours. And like every word. And the, his fans are just like rabid, but also like super respectful super. and very just good people. Yeah. Yeah, it was great energy. Great energy. And then so last night you had the VMAs. Yes. Uh, you, you were a presenter as well as, yes. uh, as an attendee. Mm -hmm. How was that? Like, what was, your, what was your favorite moment? There were so many great moments last night. Oh, gosh. I mean, oh, this is an easy answer. When Taylor Swift walked on stage, I almost had a heart attack. I didn't even know she I was going to be there. I don't think any of us knew she was going to be there. And I'm literally sitting in the audience, and I got a notification on Twitter that she's at the VMAs. <laughs> You're just like perusing Twitter during the bathroom break. And I was just break. like, wait a second. And then she walks on stage, and I'm literally Megan. I'm just like, Megan, I'm going to die. <laughs> Megan, I'm going to die. And she wins for all too well. And I literally, yeah. if we were to call me right now, my phone would ring, and it would be all too well. Really? Yeah. That's your jam of the last year? Yeah. So I was, that was my favorite moment. Wow. Yeah. And she announced the new album's coming. And she announced Which is like 21st. a great moment. I know. There's so many great like VMA moments over the years. Do you have a favorite of like, of all time looking back? Oh gosh. Now I can't remember any of them. Right. I mean, I always think of like the Miley twerking thing was like such a big deal at the time. Gaga in the meat dress. The meat That's dress VMAs, was such right? a big deal. Yeah. yeah the the Britney, uh, Christina kiss. Yeah, was a big that was deal. Oh, with Madonna. Or Madonna kiss. Yeah, was a big yeah, yeah. Deal. Yeah, there's so many. VMAs like, is known for those kind of kind of controversial well, they, pop culture moments. Yeah, I thought they kicked off the show it was so cool the way they with Jack Harlow and, and all the Fergie. celebrities and then they bring out Fergie. I was yeah. like, this is what the show used to be known for was right. like unexpected moments, and exactly. I thought they. I thought they nailed that last night. And of course, yeah, Taylor with the most unexpected. She's, she's great about that. Yeah, kind of she's stuff, amazing. Though. All right, so big stuff happening in your life. New movie, Purple Hearts, out now on Netflix. And it's already one of the most successful movie releases they have, uh, given your heavy involvement with it, because you're not all, all just starring in it. You're also producing in it. You're writing music. Uh, are, are you you're performing in it? Is it more gratifying that it's doing so well, yeah. given the fact that you are so involved in it? That's precisely it. You know, it was, I poured my heart and soul into this movie for five years. And like you said, it was my first time producing, writing a soundtrack for a film, developing a script. So it was also more terrifying. Right. Um, but now that it has been as loved as it has been and made the history that it's made, it's so so deeply gratifying and so fulfilling and i'm i pinch myself every day i'm so grateful i mean it's it's just been a, a crazy experience i'm sure yeah uh the single from the movie come back home it, it really plays like a, a pivotal role in the plot yeah like, kind of ties the movie together so as you're kind of going through the script and in your in your you know like i need to write a song that yeah. perfectly correct how do you do that exactly like that like right before i went into the our, our writing session week 
we went through the script and kind of defined what moments needed the songs and what each mo- what purpose each song had to serve. Mm-hmm. And this song in particular is the most important song of our movie because it is the pivotal moment that kind of changes things for Cassie and Luke. And I had been dreaming of this moment in the song since I read the first script five years ago. And um, Come Back Home was also the hardest song to write because of that. It needed to be, it just needed to really capture the soul and the essence of our film and also still feel really universal. So we wrote one version first and it wasn't quite right. And then I fought really hard to get an extra day in the studio to rewrite it. We rewrote it and we got this version of Come Back Home. And that's the one you, you did all the songs with Justin Tranter, right? With Justin Tranter, yeah. Yeah. Is that your first experience with him? No. So I've been really lucky to write with him a lot for my own music Mm -hmm. and for my album. I've known him for so many years and he's always been such a supporter and believer in me. And when I sent him the script, um, I was really keeping my fingers crossed that he would want to do this with me. And he fell in love with Cassie and with our story and we wrote the soundtrack together. People should really uh, look more into his history. It's incredible. I uh, he yeah. Was, he came up with Lady Gaga and yeah. um, he had I a rock band. S- What's that? Yeah, he had yeah a rock band. Semi precious weapons, weapons, which I saw on tour with yeah, Gaga, me too. and they were nuts. Nuts. <laughs> like I had never seen so cool. anything like that. Like Justin in the biggest heels I've ever seen yes. in my life. Just a complete and utter rock star. So yes. yeah, if he's you saw, iconic. Uh, bring it back to the VMAs real quick. If you saw uh, the Monoskin. Monoskin, similar vibe. It's a well, he just wrote vibe. their last yeah, record. Where, oh, great. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of a similar vibe where totally. it's like just a party. And yeah. like, I really wish that band stayed together. Like, I, I, I would love it if they would make a comeback album because it was such a, I mean, he's had incredible success, totally. obviously, but like that he's band amazing. was just like so different and cool. Yeah. Um. So going back to the single Come Back Home, the variety, out, the virality of it has in real life sort of happened along with the You're same right. way it did in, what in happened the movie. to Cassie. It Does it so... feel the same for you now as Nathan, it did for Cassie in the film? I can't believe I hadn't put that parallel together. Yeah, like as, as I'm watching the film, I'm like, that's wait, exa- this is kind of like what's Exactly happening. what happened to Cassie is happening to me yeah. with this movie and with the soundtrack so and I, with the song. So is it the same? Is it different for how Cassie would have felt? No, I mean, I would think it's the same, you know, because it's songs and moments that this, like that they change your life. And this one to me is like, it's slightly unexpected for all of us who were a part of it because really? we knew we knew that we had made something special, but we didn't expect this. Yeah. You know, we didn't expect the history that it's made and the virality, like you say. So um, it just blows me away every day more and it's, more. It's pretty wild. Like yeah. you kind of never know when something like this is going to happen. No. And with Netflix, especially for whatever reason, yeah. a lot of songs break out of Netflix. I mean, yeah. I mean, when, when I knew that we had really made it was when we surpassed the Kate Bush record. Wow. on Shazam I, mean, I was like oh <laughs> my god this is like actually happening um I yeah like prepare it's... myself for this yeah one. I was like this is surreal <laughs> yeah it's pretty wild yeah uh there's also a number of of covers in the film which yeah were so cool thanks which one was your favorite to perform both so different like I loved Sweet Caroline mm-hmm. and I really loved bringing to life that version because I wanted to make it you know an ode to the original but then really keep it kind of Cassy and kind of soulful and a little sexy and that was so much fun to perform with people in the room because everybody loves that song and then I loved feel it still I've always loved that record and we really just did had our own like unique spin yeah. on it um but that one was a bit different to perform because in our film Cassie has a, a high blood sugar attack in right. that performance so it was a kind of an emotional moment for me in the film was there any that you wished would have been in the film or that were kind of left on the cutting room floor? No, they all made it. Oh, that's great. Actually, there's one, um, but I never got to record it. It was just an idea. There was an idea that I would sing Beautiful Dreamer over Frankie's funeral mm. in the background. But that's By the way, that moment that in that movie it. just... Yeah, I know. For, even ranking. for all of us I don't know spoilers, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. Well, well, so going off of that, what's your favorite karaoke song? Like if you're going out to the... Mine? Yeah, if you're going out, you know, I you, have a, you have um, to do a cover, what's going to be? Total Eclipse of the Heart. Oh, nice. Or I Will Survive. Okay. Yeah, what's yours? Mm, I did uh, Semi-Charmed Life. Okay. Uh, uh, what was I was like, Over the Winter. But I don't really karaoke. It's not, but like, I, I crushed that one. You crushed. I'll, I'll show you the video. You crushed. Show me the video. I was like. You I were into hev- it. I was heavily intoxicated, but I was. <laughs> you were dedicated <laughs> under the so influence. I have the courage, you know. <laughs> the liquid courage. You need it. You need it. If you do karaoke totally sober. That's true. Something you, wrong with you. <laughs> you're either a superstar or you might be a psychopath. I don't know. <laughs> uh, you touched on it just now. Uh, in the movie, Cassie is diabetic. How do you prepare yourself 
to tell that story. A lot of research. Yeah. Um, with everything in this film, we really strove for honesty and truth and vulnerability because the story demanded it. And we were very, very happy and um, really wanted to tell this story particularly as truthfully as we could because Cassie is a diabetic and that's underrepresented in film and television, especially type 1 diabetes. And the almost impossible struggles and circumstances that they face every day to literally survive. And so I did an incredible amount of research, spoke to medical professionals, doctors. We had doctors on set making sure everything was accurate. Um, people who taught me, you know, the symptoms when you have a low attack versus a high blood sugar attack yeah. or, you know, w what her day to day like looks like when she wakes up in the morning, what she has to do. And um, yeah, I'm very happy that we're able to be a part of this conversation and to spread awareness on the insulin crisis and the healthcare crisis in this country. I thought the movie did a really nice job of kind of um, normalizing how, how people actually are, like yeah. dealing with uh, the debt. healthcare issues <laughs> yeah. and debt. And, Paying and, your rent. And, and, and online, online, I think we see like from a political standpoint, you see like extremism. You yeah. see like people that are way this way or way that way. Sure. But the movie was like, yes, we're different, yeah. but we also come together. Correct. And I thought that was really important. Was that important to you to, to kind of, show how, yes, we can politically not align, but we still come together for the right reasons. Yeah, that, that's the reason why I fell in love with this story is that it was so much more than just a love story, but it was a really important message. Like you say, we live in such divided times in a divided world, um, but to be able to see each other as human beings with compassion and to come together through the power of love um, can heal in really beautiful and powerful ways. That's what we strove to bring across. Yeah, I thought I did a very nice job. It, the whole movie... And also now sitting here in this interview, I, I thought to myself, she has the coolest voice. Why? Talking voice? Yes. Thank you you. Just have like a very uh, calming way about you. I don't know what it is. But you like, know, I used to be made fun of for my voice in why? high school. I, I guess I was kind of like sultry when I was in high school, or maybe it still is now. I don't know if that's the word you would use to describe it. Sure. But in high school, <laughs> girls would make fun of me for my voice because I always wanted to. I was a nerd. And, you know, when they would ever say, like, who wants to read this passage from the book? And I'd be like, I'll read the passage. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I, if I was your of. agent, I'd be getting you on the call map right now. Thanks. Like, I am on the call map. You are on the call map? Yeah. So I... <laughs> it's go. first. So I did uh, My Little Pony. I did the, the a movie for Netflix, actually, an animation. And I'm on the call map as that character doing, like, children's stories. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I think if you could just like host like a uh, Pilates class on there or something, something Meg, that's like on a, it. <laughs> like a Zen. I, just, uh, I love movie, it. I was like, her voice is just so like. You're so oh, sweet. Dear. Thank you. <laughs> What's all, what else is on the horizon for you uh, coming up? Oh my gosh. I literally, I'm just kind of enjoying this moment and taking it all in. It's been so nonstop and every day is a little bit more surreal. Um, yeah, I really am just enjoying the present right now. Enjoy it. Um, Hopefully you catch some sleep. Like how much have you slept over the last? Not much. This like, again. Not, not much, yeah. You are a superstar <laughs> running on feeds <laughs> right you. now. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank we you really for having me. It, I'm absolutely. so happy to be here.